Hi, my name is Dr. Carrie Bennett. I'm a surgeon at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center in Boston, Mass., where I'm assistant director of the Center for Breast Care. I am also an assistant professor at Tufts University Medical Center, and I have, have an office locally here in Fall River. I also have a book available that helps teach what I teach called The Little Pink Book, What I Say Every Day, available through my website at drcarriebennett.com. What I teach is that breast health is, equates to good self-care. And one of the ways that we can take good care of ourselves is to really get in touch with our bodies and understand what our body is trying to tell us. Most breast disease comes from an overabundance of toxins. The five major toxins that we have in our society are processed foods. We want to minimize processed foods and eat close to the earth. We want to minimize alcohol consumption to one alcoholic beverage a day. We really don't want to smoke, or if we're going to smoke, not smoke a lot. We also want to minimize caffeine to one to two cups of coffee a day, usually a small or what equates to a medium Dunkin' Donuts coffee. We also want to eat close to the earth, so eating green leafy vegetables. We all are going to be exposed to these toxins, especially stress. So we really want to uh, do stress management techniques, whether it's exercise, which is so incredibly important, or movement. We also want to not only minimize the five major toxins, but we want to increase our fiber intake. We're animals. We're supposed to be eating a high fiber diet. We want to be eating 25 to 30 grams of fiber every day. And if it means adding flaxseed to our food or taking supplements, that's what we need to do. We also want to get at least 64 ounces of fluid in a day, preferably water. Soda is a huge toxin. Also, exercise is vital. We need to move. We need to be moving at least 30 minutes a day in whatever way you can. And that's what I need you to do for good breast health. Self-breast exam is a key to good breast health. Although studies show that it may not be statistically significant, if we find one cancer by examining the breast, that's good enough for me, because I'm in the job of saving lives. So I want to show you how you can examine a breast. I don't really care how you feel it, but what you want to use is the fingertips, your fingertips, and feel around the breast. You can go around in a circle, or you can go out radially like the spokes of a wheel, or you can just feel all the way around from bottom to top or top to bottom just trying to find something that stands out from the rest of the breast tissue and stays for more than three months. But you don't have to wait three months to go see a doctor. If you feel a mass, call your doctor immediately. What we're looking for on self-breast exam is whether or not you feel any mass, anything that f stands out from the rest of the breast tissue. We're often looking for something that stands out from the rest of the breast tissue and stays for three months. But you needn't wait three months. If you feel a mass, something that stands out from the rest of your breast tissue, please call your doctor and get it checked out immediately. Okay? Thank you.